everybody, Brad C. here. Today we're reviewing the Legends P08 made by Umarex. Now this gun was made famous by the Germans in World War I and World War II, and it was a very reliable, accurate little shooter. And the actual gun, if you find one of these, about around two grand is what it costs to own one of these, and maybe a little bit less, but these are definitely a collector's item. Now if you've been watching the channel, I've been reviewing some other BB guns, and these two are full auto. The bottom one is a DPMS SBR, and the top one is an Umarex Legends MP40, and these are awesome guns, so make sure you check out the reviews. I'll put links in the description, but let's take a closer look at this P08. Just wanted to quickly show you what comes in the box, and you saw the box here. But inside is a manual, and it is a very nice detailed manual, and these are just little disclaimers. And on the back is some of the stats. You can pause the screen if you'd like. I'll probably cover most of this in the video, but just in case. This gun feels awesome in the hands. The weight and the balance just feels definitely like a real gun. This is known as the Luger P08. And it was actually made in several different calibers, but the 9mm is the most famous. You can see here where the safety lever is, is the German word Geischekert. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but that just means secured or safe. So that's safe mode, and of course that would be fire, and we know red you're dead. The moving parts on this are the safety, the trigger, and the magazine. Now on the blowback version, this is called the toggle lock, and this is actually going to pop up every time you shoot it. So it's going to give you that blowback action, and this is going to pop up. So it's going to be very realistic, and I wanted to review the, the realistic version. So, But I did want to show you that this one is basically identical to the non-blowback version. It's just going to be not having the toggling. Now there are two advantages to this non-blowback version. First of all, obviously, every time you use this toggle lock, it's going to be popping up and down every time you fire the gun. That's going to take energy, and that's going to take air. So you're going to go through less cartridges. Secondly, anytime you have moving parts, you have a chance for something to malfunction. So you're going to have more of a chance of this thing you know, jamming up. I personally want that realistic look and feel so that is the way that I would personally want to go but I'll put Amazon links to both of these guns in the description so whichever you would like the blowback or the non blowback version you can have at her. This gun comes in at 1.7 pounds and it is mainly metal as you can see the parts up here this is all metal up here and of course the steel barrel steel trigger set up all this is metal this is metal this is metal now the grips are plastic and one of these grips will actually pop off when you pull out the magazine and you'll see the CO2 cartridge inside but none of this here actually works or moves it looks like it would you can actually get it to just slightly feel like it moves but it doesn't you can see on the back here they have some sort of a little I don't know if you'd call that a sling attachment or what it would use that from Possibly soldiers could have used this to hang it from their neck. I don't know. That seems kind of silly to think about, but I don't know why that would be there. Maybe somebody would know, and you can put that in the comments. Now, here is your magazine release, and that is a drop-free mag. And you can see here, when it comes out, it's actually just the portion here that you load the BBs in. And it's like a lot of your spring action. This is going to slide down and then you're going to load your BBs in and they say when you load this up make sure you don't touch this end banging against something because the BBs can come falling out you can see here a lot of tension to detail you can see the caliber 177 and this does shoot to 4.5 millimeter steel BBs and this is definitely a metal steel magazine everything's quality made here I don't have anything negative to say about the build quality beautiful piece. Down here you can see where you twist this off and your CO2 cartridge is going to go in there. It takes the 12 gram CO2 cartridges and you can see here the serial number on this is actually unique to this gun. So that's pretty cool. Now this gun is rated at 410 FPS. Anything above 400 is excellent for a BB gun and all the online tests that I watch show this thing actually getting a little bit higher than that around the 420 to 430 range. 
you can expect to get 120 shots or 6 mags out of one cartridge, and that's on average. Obviously, depending on the temperature outside, CO2 cartridges are obviously a little bit tricky to, to gauge. Now, the magazine holds 21. This is a semi-auto, and the trigger is in double action only. Stay tuned to the channel. I'll be doing a much more detailed version on the blowback edition of this gun. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check me out at bradctv.com.